When you talk single-A football in the state of West Virginia the last few years, you usually talk the Peterstown Pirates or the Mount Hope Mustangs or the Meadowbridge Wildcats. Those are teams that have put the good, good teams out onto the field as these teams are getting set to be introduced here at Laidley Field. Head coach Eddie Sook Jr. of the Mount Hope Mustangs and his coaching staff will be introduced. And then they'll bring on head coach Don Jackson of the Peterstown Pirates. Don Jackson in his seventh year as the head man at Peterstown High School. This is his fourth year in the playoffs, but this is their first year in the championship game since 1981 when they lost to Sistersville by a final score of 28-3. They got some revenge over that last week down at Ann S. Honeycutt Stadium in Princeton, West Virginia, where they beat Sistersville six to nothing in the semifinals. Their first round win, 34 to six over Bishop Donahue. The Peterstown Pirates, a very large football team. Offensive line averages 228 pounds per men. Their three down linemen on the defensive front, 258 pounds per man. And they have an explosive offensive attack. Uh, the regular season, they scored a total of 332 points. That's an average of 33.2 points per game, while their defense gave up a total of 50 four points in the regular season or an average of 5.4. On the other side of the score sheet, the Mount Hope Mustangs scored 360 points in their 10 regular season games. They gave up a total of 74. So you can see both teams very, very explosive offensively and on defense, they're very, very stingy. I guess the biggest compliment that could have been paid to the Peterstown Pirates was paid by head coach Eddie Soup Jr. of the Mount Hope Mustangs. He said, in all honesty, when I see them in action, when I see them on film, the only weakness that I see for the Peterstown Pirates is that their team manager is only five foot eight. <laughs> Other than that, they are a very strong football team. For the Mount Oak Mustangs, they are no stranger, certainly, to state championship play, but their last state championship appearance came back in 1965 when they were a double-A school. They lose to Sarita Canova 26-6. Both teams have been introduced here at Laidley Field in the capital city of Charleston. We remind you the state championship kickoff is next here on the Metro News Radio Network. tonight. They'll be in the solid red uniforms with the white numerals and the red helmets. And across the way, in the gold football pants, the white jerseys, the gold helmets, 
and the blue numerals on the jerseys, the Mount Hope Mustangs. The Mustangs, of course, as we told you, in 1965, they lost in the double-A finals to Sarita Canova. But during a seven-year period of 1959 to 1965, Mount Hope was in the finals five years. So they know what it is to be in a state championship game. We're getting set for the toss of the coin down on the field. Here's our Dave Ryan. Fred, thank you very much. The officials now meeting with the team captains. Let's listen in. Wait a minute. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Mr. Pack, this is Captain Tucker. Tucker. Captain Holly. Holly. Underwood. Captain Underwood. Underwood. And Captain Nary. Here's your talker, Okay. Okay, spokesman number six for the white. Who's going to be the spokesman on the coin toss for red? 75 and six. You are the home team, right? Yes, Visitors white. Quarter. Tails and head. Call it in the air. If I drop it, we'll do it again. Here we go. Tails. 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 It is heads. It is heads. You have won the toss. Your receive. options are you want to receive. receive, you want to receive. Which way you want to kick? You want to kick at the board. Move over to this side, white. Peterstown has won the toss and will receive. That's all. Good luck to you. Okay, gentlemen, there you have it. The Pirates will get the football first. They're clad in the home red, and they are ready and raring to go. Let's go back to you guys up top. So for the first time, Tony Caridi and the Super Six, the team that won the toss, decided to take the football. They say, we want it now, and of course, they have a very explosive offensive attack. And again, they are a very large football team. Offensively, for the Peterstown Pirates, as you look across that front, at split end, they go with Tony Hawks. The left tackle is Alan Ray, 6'5", 266 pounds. The left guard is Mike Helvey. The center is Sean Phipps, 6'218 pounds. The right guard is an all-stater in Chris McClarney, 6'238 pounds senior. The right tackle is Anthony Moore, 6'3", 240 pounds. They have a flanker that is a very talented youngster, an all-stater from last year. He has scored 15 touchdowns on the season. A 5'11", 155-pound senior, Jeff Moore. Jason Buckland is the tight end. That backfield has Kerry Stauffer in at quarterback. His papa is the head basketball basketball coach and the head baseball coach at Peterstown High School. The left halfback will be Matt Mann, a 5'10", 145-pound senior, who you may see go to quarterback at times. The big fullback is Josh Pence for the Peterstown Pirates. The Mount Hope Mustangs getting set to kick the football off. They will go on defense to start the football game. Dwayne Patterson will be the youngster that will put his foot into it. Back deep for the Peterstown Pirates. Matt Mann stands alone at about the three-yard line. So getting set to kick it off and get this one underway. Wayne Patterson makes the approach on the football. High kick sailing down to about the seven-yard line. Goes behind the intended receiver. Picks it up at the goal line and starts the field upward. He goes to the 10. Takes it to the outside, the 15, the 20. He's at the 30. The 34-yard line before finally being stopped by the Peterstown High School Pirates. And it was the man that kicked the football off, Wayne Patterson, that put the stop on the runner for the Peterstown Pirates, Jeff Moore, the youngster who you'll see at flanker. The All-Stater from last year, the football carrier for the Peterstown Pirates. So the Pirates have it. First and 10, they start from their own 34-yard line. Good field position for the red and white of Peterstown High School. Offensively, they go with a couple of different looks. If they run out of the unbalanced line, you'll see them use a power play. Full house backfield set in behind Stauffer. Hands it off to the last guy coming through the hole. Matt Mann has the football across the 40 upfield to about the 41-yard line. Stop made on the play for the Mount Hope Mustangs by Craig Holly. Number 62, an all-stater at linebacker last year. 11 minutes, 22 seconds. If you just joined us, opening seconds of the first quarter here at Lately Field in Charleston. This is for all the marbles in class single-A football. Second and three after the seven-yard gain by Matt Mann. The back split in behind quarterback Stauffer. And the football off to the big fullback, Josh Pence, and he just powers his way upfield to the 50-yard line. Josh Pence carrying about three or four with the Mount Hope tacklers with him. Finally dragging him down, Tommy Gilkerson, the nose guard for the Mount Hope Mustangs. The gain is across midfield. They put it down at the 49-yard line, the initial first down of the football game, and it belongs to the Peterstown Pirates. First and 10 from the Mount Hope 49. Just in the middle of that Mount Hope defense right off the bat, Fred. 
Jeff Moore split to the near side. Back split in behind Stauffer. Hands it off to Mann. Mann breaks it over the left side. Gets down across the 45 to the 43-yard line. They have speed. They have power. They have it all going their way right now on this opening drive. Dwayne Patterson in on the stop for the Mount Hope Mustangs. Along with Brian Davis. Pick up of seven yards on the play. Make it second and three. Football at the 42-yard line. Peters down again. 12-0. Number one in the state. They beat Mount Hope earlier this year. 20-14 in overtime. Moore again flanked to the near side. And the wide out to the far side. This time the handoff goes to the fullback Pence. He'll get near the 40-yard line. Stacked up at about the 41. Again, Brian Davis in on the stop for the Mount Hope Mustangs. As Pence picks himself up off the carpet, it's going to bring up a third and two situation. Pick up of one that time by the Peterstown Pirates. Kerry Stauffer, the quarterback, a junior, transferred during the summertime as his family moved. He transferred from Oakvale High School and immediately stepped into that quarterback position. He brings him set at the line of scrimmage. The pitch coming this way. Matt Mann looking to fire downfield as the intended receiver after completed the 29-yard line. Jeff Moore sliding out of bounds at the 29-yard line has the second first down of the night for the Peterstown Pirates and perfectly thrown and not a surprise from Matt Mann. He's the youngster that would have been the quarterback for Peterstown had Kerry Stauffer not moved into the area. So when he moved into the area, they shifted him back to the halfback position, but a lot of times you'll see Matt Mann throw the football as you did there on the halfback option. 9-16, left to be played, quarter number one. No score in the football game, but Peters down is driving. Back split in behind Stauffer. On the quick pitch, they get it to Mann, looking for running room, he'll not find any, as this time Brian Davis led the Mount Hope attack and drops Matt Mann down behind the 30-yard line, the 31, the loss of two is on the play. It'll be second and 12. So the Peterstown Pirates, very, very successful so far in this opening drive of the football game. They've controlled it since the opening kick. Eight minutes and 40 seconds left in the first period. A wide out to the near side, one to the far side. Backs are split. Stopper on the handoff, gives it to Mann. Mann looking for a little bit of running room. Check that, not Mann. Jeff Moore, the ball carrier that time. As that time, they move Moore from his flanker position back into the backfield. So they'll do, they'll do some changing for you from time to time, give you a couple of different looks as Pence came out of the football game and now checks back in for the Peterstown Pirates. So the gain is back to the original line of scrimmage. It'll bring up third and 10 from the 29-yard line. Tony Hawks, the wideout to the far side. Jeff Moore flanked to the near side. Back split. Stopper back to pass, setting up, slips down as he fires the football, and it's thrown short of his intended receiver, Tony Hawks, but just a heck of a job by Stauffer to get it out that far as he was falling down as he tried to set up for the pass. So it's going to bring up a fourth and 10 situation from the 29-yard line, and certainly you're in four-down territory here. The Peterstown Pirates... Looking to keep that perfect season intact and bring home a state championship. Stauffer. Now they've got Mann at quarterback. Dropping back to pass. Pump faking once, twice. Looking, still looking. Now takes the, decides to run with the football at the 27-yard line, the 25-yard line. He goes down at the 24. It'll be short of a first down on the Mount Hope Mustangs. Will take over on downs. That time, Mann started out as the quarterback. He was looking downfield, trying to find Jeff Moore, trying to find Tony Hawks. Both were well covered by the Mount Hope defense. And he tucked it away, tried to get the first down on the ground, and came up about four yards short. So the Mount Hope Mustangs defensively hold, and they put it into play first and 10 from their own 25-yard line. Brandon Tucker, the quarterback. Out of the wishbone attack. The 5'11 senior brings them set at the line of scrimmage. First running play from scrimmage to Dobbs. Jeff Stevens, he's at the 30-yard line and goes down there. Jeff Stevens is a youngster that they call on about 80% of the time. And, Tony, you'll notice he'll run straight up with a football. Yeah, I noticed that, Fred. And another thing about this Mount Hope wishbone, it's a deep wishbone. They're not uh, tightly formed together, giving those uh, halfbacks plenty of time to get up a burst of speed as they hit the line. 
They're looking at second and five from the 30. Dwayne Patterson, the wide out to the near side. Brandon Tucker again, hands it off to Jeff Stevens. He'll have first down yardage. He gets out across the 35, still churning the legs up to the, about the 39-yard line before finally being dragged down by the Peterstown Pirates. And on the stop of Peterstown, Tony Hawks from his left quarterback position. Head coach Eddie Soup gets his plays in and out of that offensive huddle by using his split ends. Benny Tadero and Billy Burns. Burns is inserted there now. And again, out of the wishbone, the Mount Up Mustangs looking at first and 10 from their own 39-yard line. Tucker hands it off to the big fullback Underwood. A couple of yards as he gets out across the 40 to the 42-yard line. 6.35, clock is moving. We're in quarter number one. No score in the football game. This time, Dwayne Patterson checks out of the Mount Hope lineup. Brian Jolly brings the play in. Jolly will be the tight end on the near side. Out of the wishbone, Brandon Tucker brings him set, looking at second and eight from his own 42. On the handoff, he gets it to Brian Mar to Marchio. And John Marchio to the 45-yard line before being tripped up. They'll spot it down at the 44. And it'll bring up third and five from that point. They need the 49-yard line for another first down. John Marchio, the ball carrier the last time for the Mount Hope Mustangs. Clyde Bailey, the big center for Mount Hope, leads them to the line of scrimmage. Third and five for Mount Hope. Tucker fakes the handoff to Underwood, keeps it himself. On the option now, the quick pitch to Doc. Jeff Stevens across the 50 to 45 and tripped up at the 41 yard line. That's the way you run the option to perfection. He held off Tony until the very last possible second before pitching it to Jeff Stevens coming around the far side. You're right, Fred. That was absolutely perfect, the way that Tucker ran that option to the right side. They literally had a hand on him, ready to drag him down as he released that ball, and that freed up that halfback for the first down. That's the second first down in this initial possession for the Mustangs. The gain is to the 41-yard line of Peterstown. First and 10 from that point, Brandon Tucker. Hands the football off to Jeff Stevens across the 40 down to about the 36-yard line before being pushed back by a host of red-shirted tacklers for the Peterstown Pirates, leading the way Chris McClarney, All-Stater uh, last year for Peterstown. 5.08 left to be played in quarter number one. No score in the football game. Both teams, though, have looked very impressive in their opening drive. Second and five from the 36. Again, out of the wishbone, handed off this time to Marchio. Marchio across the 35 to the 34-yard line before being stacked up there by Peterstown. Josh Pence, the big fullback, in on the stop for Peterstown. And it's going to bring up third and short yardage. Football sitting at the 33. They need to get to the 31. Third and two for the Mount Hope Mustangs. Billy Burns in tight on the far side. Brian Jolly tight this side. Running room to the near side. On the pitch to Jeff Stevens. Looking for the first down. He has it across the 30 to 25. Still on his feet at the 20 before finally being dragged down by the Peterstown Pirates. He broke it to the outside. Easily got the first down. And then as he crossed the 25, picked up a couple of would-be tacklers. He drug them to the 20. And the Mount Hope Mustangs keep the drive alive with a first and 10 from the 20-yard line of the Peterstown Pirates. Injured man down on the play for Mount Hope back at the line of scrimmage. Trying to pick up the number for you. Tommy Gilkerson will check into the football game. The nose guard, so it has to be one of the offensive linemen for the Mount Hope Mustangs that is injured on the play. Trainers out there for the Mustangs. The Mount Hope Mustangs, certainly a successful season this year. Again, we repeat the only loss, 20 to 14 in overtime, the fourth weekend of the season. When you're from a small school, as you heard Eddie Soup say, they used to be a triple-A ball club. That's when he was a graduate back in 1968. They're now a single-A. You have most of the same athletes playing all the sports. And basketball coach Delbert Adkins has about all of his basketball players playing Football, so consequently, he's not been able to practice basketball. Charles Jones, the right tackle for Mount Hope, the injured player, gets up and with a little assistance from the trainer and assistant coach, moves off the field. I'm sure we'll see Charlie back in the lineup in just a few minutes. Four minutes, 16 seconds left in this initial period. No score in the football game. The Mount Hope Mustangs have it first and 10, just outside the 20-yard line of the Peterstown Pirates. 
Out of the wishbone attack. Brandon Tucker brings him set at the line of scrimmage. Marking out the signals on the pitch. Thrown behind Jeff Stevens, and he very wisely falls on it. Back at the 29-yard line. Pitch thrown behind Jeff Stevens. It fell to the AstroTurf, and instead of trying to pick it up, he made a very wise decision as Josh Pence was closing down on him. He just fell on the football. Instead of trying to pick it up and maybe make something out of it, he assured himself of not losing any more yardage. As the loss is back to the 29s, it's going to bring up second and 19. Dwayne Patterson will be the wide out to the near side. In tight on the far side, Benny Tadero. Again, out of that deep wishbone attack, Brandon Tucker. Hands it off to the up back, the full back, Randy Underwood. He gets to the 25-yard line, no more. Good stop made on the play for the Peterstown Pirates. A.C. Bailey, the first man there to put him down. So you get back to the 25. That's going to make it third and 15. The one thing, though, that the Mount Hope Mustangs do have going for them, Brandon Tucker, the quarterback, is a pretty good field goal kicker, kicked a 35-yarder in their opening win over the Mullins Rebels. Back he comes. Brandon Tucker flips it over the, the line of scrimmage to Jeff Stevens. Down the far sidelines he goes. We've got a flag on the play. He's finally pumped out of bounds at about the 15-yard line. We'll check the call for you. As the flag was thrown right in the middle of the field, soon as Stevens caught the pass, he circled out of the backfield. Pass interference. Maybe that's why it was so wide open. It goes against Mount Hope. Evidently, Jeff Stevens pushed off a little bit on the defensive player. That would make you open a little bit more, probably. Yeah, that, uh, that tends to help a bit, Fred. So yeah. the penalty goes against the Mount Hope Mustangs. First penalty of the night in That's the football right. game. That came on the 10th play of Mount Hope's first drive of the evening. They started this thing off at their 25-yard line. And with the penalty now, they'll march it all the way upfield to the 40. So instead of being down inside the 20-yard line, you're going to bring it all the way back to the Mustang 40-yard line. Which is going to bring up fourth and 30. They need to get to the 10. And it's at the 40. Two minutes, 47 seconds left. Fourth and 10. Brandon Tucker will keep it himself, get two yards, and that's it. A delayed quarterback draw, but Peterstown stayed right at home. And they come out of this one pretty good. They take over the football on downs just the same way they gave it up to Mount Hope. So two good defensive football teams as this one so far has been played between the 20s with 2.42 left in the first quarter. No score in the football game. The Peterstown Pirates will take over, this being their second offensive possession of the football game. Good crowd on hand for this class single-A championship as the Peterstown Pirates... Come to the line of scrimmage. Kerry Stauffer, 5'8", 140-pound junior, on the quick pitch. Gets it over to Matt Mann, looking for running room to the near side. Mount Hope trying to string it out and does so, but he gets away from four or five would-be tacklers. Finally, is going to be put down behind the line of scrimmage, back at the, about the 35-yard line. So Matt Mann was running for his life after he got away from a couple of would-be tacklers for the Mount Hope Mustangs. But Mount Hope would not let him turn the corner on the near side as Scotty Neri put the stop on him along with Brian Davis. The loss is back to the 35. It'll bring up second and about 13 from that point. A minute 55 left in the first quarter. Jeff Moore split to the near side. Running room to the far side of the field. Stopper brings him set. Drops back the pass. Looking. Dumps it over in the flat on the far side. The Matt man. He's at the 40. Brings it to the near side line. Tripped up at the 45. Nice tackle right in the middle of the field for the Mount Hope Mustangs as Benny Tadero reached out one big arm and tripped him up. Had Jeff Moore got to the near sideline, or Matt Mann, rather, he had a lot of running room this side. Matt Mann, uh, Fred, seems to love running that ball sideways. That time it worked great, but uh, he is not uh, hesitant at all to cut it uh, laterally and try to find a hole. The gain is up to the 45-yard line. It's going to be third and four. For the Peterstown Pirates, they need to get just shy of 49 for the first down. A minute five left in the first quarter. Again now, Matt Mann is the quarterback. Straight drop back. Look it, being chased. He'll go down. Trapped and went down in the arms of three tacklers. From the Mount Hope Mustang, Scott Neri leading the way, along with Tommy Gilkerson. 
And the loss is back to the 31 yard line. And it'll be a, a fourth down situation and the first punting situation that we've seen tonight in the football game. Jeff Stevens along with John Marchio. Dropping back for the Mount Hope Mustangs. Emmett Allen is back there as well. The line of scrimmage, the 36 yard line. Tony Hawks will put the foot into it. Nice high punt sailing down and they'll watch it go out of bounds inside the 30 yard line and we've got a flag. Flag thrown on the far sideline, Tony. Brandon Tucker of Mount Hope on the punt coverage, Fred, clipped one of the Peterstown Pirates. They could either call it a clip or a late hit. The contact occurred just out of bounds along the far side. Boy, the play going to be blown dead inside the 30 at the 27. And now you'll tack on another penalty against the Mount Hope Mustangs. This will be their second in the football game. Personal foul, late hit. Now that's a biggie. And instead of starting off at their own 27, they will mark them inside the 15 yard line at the 12. 15 yard mark off. Personal foul, late hit, out of bounds against the Mount Hope Mustang. So the Mustangs take over first and 10, or first and 25 rather, a dead ball penalty, first and 25 from their own 12. Brandon Tucker is the quarterback. Again, the wishbone attack. Hands it off to Jeff Stevens across the 15 to 20. Still on his feet at the 25 and finally tripped up at the 26 yard line. So he gets back that 15 yards assessed on the penalty as we're approaching the end of the first quarter of play. In fact, there's the horn. The end of the first period with your score. The Peterstown Pirates nothing. The Mount Hope Mustangs nothing. This is the Metro News Radio Network. What's going on, man? Hey, man. Hey, Rhino. And who is Terry Jones, the other person in honor of Terry Jones? All players have a T on their helmet, like with a, in a black heart. And uh, that could be some sort of story there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see what's going on with that, too. Okay. Otherwise, I mean, I ran over to the other side to see what that I didn't uh, see him, Jones man. guy was hurt. I didn't see him. Yeah, and you might want to mention, uh, he's the only guy who was hurt so far. Uh, Charles Jones had a neck injury. Well, stand by. We, we can come to you, I believe. Stand okay. by. All right. Fred, don't send him. Our Dave Ryan is down on the field covering all the action on the sidelines. Dave, what's the what's going on down there? Fred, earlier in the game, we had an injury going to the Mustangs. Uh, it was Charles Jones, the defensive tackle, who went down. He hurt his neck, but he said he'll be back in the game, said it isn't too serious. We should also mention on the back of some of these Peterstown shirts to the boosters and coaches, you'll see back to the attack. That signifies last year they came here, made the semifinals. Championship. Now they're going for the state title tonight. They want that single A championship. Guys, let's go back to you. As we get set to start quarter number two, second and 11 for the Mount Hope Mustangs. From their own 26 yard line, Jeff Stevens, the ball carrier. And again, fighting for a couple of tough yards. He got about two and he did all of it on his own. For the Peterstown Pirates last year in that semifinal game played down in Princeton, they lost to eventual champions, the Meadowbridge Wildcats. Avenging the only loss in the Wildcat schedule. Much like the Mount Hope Mustangs here tonight. 11 minutes, 37 seconds left in quarter number two. No score in the football game. Both teams have had impressive drives, but neither being able to get into the end zone. Jeff Stevens tying the shoe now as we have a momentary timeout. We crowned the double-A champion last night and the East Bank Pioneers. The Triple-A champion this afternoon and the Cougars of Capitol High. And looking to see who will be the class single-A state champion. Here on the Super Six this weekend in Charleston. The Mount Hope Mustangs looking at a third and nine. 
from their own 33-yard line. Brandon Tucker on the quick pitch. Gets it to John Marchio. Looking for a running room around the far side. He's at the 30 to 35. He's at the 40. He has the first down at the 45 and moves out of field to about the 47-yard line before finally being dragged down on the far side by Peterstown. Found the seam, turned on the speed, and easily got the first down on the far sideline. Let's remember this possession began for Mount Hope with a first and 25 after that dead ball personal foul. And they come up with their fourth first down of the ball game. They're looking at first and 10 now from their own 47 yard line. Wishbone attack. Brandon Tucker, the quarterback, on the pitch to Jeff Stevens. He'll bring it to the near side. He's at midfield into territory of Peterstown down to the 45 yard line. Finally being stopped on the play by Jeff Moore for the Peterstown Pirates. Tony Hawks also in on the stop. So the game to the 45 yard line will bring up a second and two situation. Need to get just shy of the 43 yard line. Again, the wishbone attack, running room to the far side. Dwayne Patterson in tight at the top. They hand this football off to Jeff Stevens. He has the first down as he moves down to the 40 yard line. Jeff Stevens, about 80, 85 percent of the carries. They throw it to John Marchio for a little speed, to Randy Underwood for a little power. But for the most part, it's the Jeff Stevens show for the Mount Hope Mustangs. Football sitting at the 40 yard line. Of the Peterstown Pirates, Mount Hope has the football. No score in the game. We're at the 10 minute mark of the first half. Again, the wishbone attack. Brandon Tucker hands it off to the big fullback, Randy Underwood. Three, four yards downfield to the 36 yard line. Initial stop made on the play by Alan Ray, the nose guard for the Peterstown Pirates. Pick up a four yards on the play, make it second and six from the 36. Very impressive drives by both teams here on the first half of the football game. The Mustangs totally have gone with the wishbone tonight. Brandon Tucker on the pitch to the far side. Jeff Stevens dancing and prancing. Gets to the 35. Still on his feet. He cuts it inside to the 30. The 25. The 20. He's got one more man to beat. He can't do it. He goes down at the 18-yard line. Give credit to a great defensive play by the Peterstown Pirates, Dennis Burdett, the right corner, who stopped Jeff Stevens from getting into the end zone. What? I tell you what, that's the best open field running we've seen here in the Super Six this weekend. Jeff Stevens, just a tremendous ability to stop and start and cut back. Great run. It's going to be interesting to see his stats at halftime, Tony. Wishbone attack again for the Mount Hope Mustangs. First and 10 from the 18 yard line of Peterstown. On the keeper, Brandon Tucker inside the 15 to about the 12, 13 yard line. I think they'll say his knee touched down at the 13 yard line. Tony Hawks in on the stop for Peterstown. Pickup of six on the play, make it second and four. So the first carry of the night for the quarterback, Brandon Tucker. Billy Burns brings the play in from the far sideline. Head coach Eddie Soup Jr. Knocked out of the playoffs last year, knocked out from getting in the playoffs on the last game of the season when he lost to Meadow Bridge. And the football off to the big fullback. Underwood into the end zone. From 13 yards out, just a quick opener right in the middle. They handed it off to Underwood, and the Mount Hope Mustangs draw first blood with 8.26 left to be played in the first half. The Mustangs of Mount Hope High School break out on top. A 13-yard run from scrimmage by Randy Underwood. And that means Brandon Tucker will come on to attempt the point after. Billy Burns will hold for him. They'll put it down at the 10-yard line. The kick is up and through the uprights with 8.26 left to be played in the first half. The Mount Hope Mustangs lead it 7 to nothing. This SSACC championship event is an exclusive presentation of the Metro News Radio Network.
Welcome back to Charleston, everyone. Tony Caridi with Fred Persinger and Dave Ryan. Mount Hope has taken a 7-0 lead over the Peterstown Pirates with 8 minutes and 26 seconds to play here in the second quarter of action. Mount Hope with a very impressive drive covering 88 yards in nine plays, four first downs, culminating with an eight-yard run by Randy Underwood. And the Mustangs getting set to kick the football off to Peterstown. Dwayne Patterson has it teed at the 40. Sends it short downfield, angling to the far sideline, picked off at the 23-yard line to the 25, the 30, the 35. Down the far sidelines, we got a flag thrown as he uh, finally goes down at the 42. Jeff Moore, the ball carrier. And we'll check the penalty flag for you. Clipping is the call against Peterstown, so much like Mount Hope, instead of starting at...